Looking for some healthy, low-carb recipes that you can whip up in your air fryer? Today, I've got 10 easy air fryer recipes that are not only keto-friendly, they taste pretty darn good as well. Hey there, I'm Kathy from FabulouslyFrugal.com, and I love helping others use their air fryer by sharing simple and easy air fryer recipes and tips and tricks. Now, a lot of you have been asking me for some keto air fryer recipes. So the 10 recipes I'm showing you today have no flour, no sugar, and are low in carbs. And yes, they still taste taste great. Now, since I don't personally do keto, I enlisted the help of my number one keto expert on the Fabulously Frugal team. Her name is Stacy, and she and her husband have been doing keto for the last two years with much success. So she kindly helped me select these dinner and breakfast and snack ideas, and she even developed some low carb air fryer donuts just for you. Yay! You'll find all of the recipes plus links to all of the products you see me using down in the description below. And let me know what kind of air fryer recipes recipes you would like to see me do next. You ready? Let's go. For this recipe, I used one quite large avocado. First, get a gallon size Ziploc bag and I just dumped in some pork rinds. Holy cow, those things stink. I've never used them before. <laughs> Go ahead and crush those up. I like to use a rolling pin and you should have about a cup of the crushed pork rinds. Daughter thought they were good. Next, add a teaspoon of salt. These were a bit salty for me, so if I were to do these again, I'd probably omit that. A half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, and mix that up. In a separate bowl, beat two eggs, and then it's time to slice your avocado. I just cut it in half lengthwise, scoop out the avocado, and then slice it up in soon-to-be avocado fries. Spray your basket, and then just dip a slice of avocado in your egg, drop it in your crumb mix, and just kind of press that into the avocado. Line those up in your basket, cook it at 400 at 12 minutes, no need to flip or shake, and those are done. Check the notes below for some different sauce recipe ideas. Yum, yum. Preheat your air fryer. This one's gonna go fast. Lightly beat one egg and then add a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, and a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Just give that a good little mix and then you're gonna use that pizza pan from your accessory kit. Be sure to check out my video for more ideas on air fryer accessories. When you have it all leveled out, pop it in the air fryer and you're gonna cook it at 350 for three minutes. Lift your pan out of the basket. Hooray, I found a use for this air fryer accessory. And then this next one will take a little practice. Use a silicone spatula to just flip the garlic bread in the pan so you can roast the other side. You can see it was a little sloppy, but guess what? It is ready to finish cooking. Pop it in at 350 for three more minutes. Sprinkle on about another tablespoon of that shredded Parmesan and pop it in 350 for just two more minutes and check it out. You can garnish it with parsley and then I just let it cool for about 20 minutes and then we cut into it and check it out. It looks just like bread and it was super yummy dipped in sour cream. This is such an awesome keto garlic bread. Start with one egg one cup of almond flour, one cup of shredded cheese, your choice, a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan, a tablespoon of melted butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then you can see I'm pulling on my gloves and we are gonna drop in a pound of ground sausage and you're just gonna mix all of that up with your hands. Next, it's always great to use a liner for this recipe and a cookie scoop that's about two tablespoons and just fill your basket with some sausage balls. This makes about 25 total, so I did have to work in batches. Air fry at 350 for 10 minutes and boom, it is done. These are great for breakfast or even dinner. And look at the easy cleanup, love it. First, we've got some seasoning. Start with two teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, and just a pinch of cayenne pepper. Mix that up, and then you need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Pat them dry, and then massage about two teaspoons of avocado oil all over the chicken. This is just gonna help hold the spices onto the chicken. You can trim these if you want to. Then I just dip each chicken thigh right there in my bowl of spices 
That way each piece of chicken is evenly coated. Next, pop out your air fryer, cook these up at 400 for 12 minutes, then pull them out and set them in some foil to rest. You can enjoy these on tacos or in salad or all by themselves. So good and so easy. You'll need 200 grams of almond flour, 96 grams of granulated erythritol, or I like to use the monk fruit sweetener. That's about a half cup right there. Then sift in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a good mix. And then you wanna set about a half cup of the mixture aside and we're gonna make up our wet ingredients. You've got three eggs, add in a third cup of melted coconut oil and then a third cup of unsweetened almond milk and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Give that a good mix. Now you'll need three quarters cups of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen. If you've got frozen, you wanna leave them frozen. Then you'll just dump that half cup of dry mix right over your blueberries so you can stir those up and coat them. That's gonna help your blueberries so they don't sink to the bottom of the muffin. Next, add the wet to the dry. Next time I will probably do room temperature eggs and almond milk because it did start to solidify some of my coconut oil, but it still tasted wonderful. Just combine that and then throw in the blueberries and it is time to make some muffins. Use silicone muffin liners. I was able to fit nine in my pan, give them a spray, and then I just used my cookie scoop to fill each little muffin liner. You can see it was about one heaping scoopful. This will make 12 blueberry muffins for you and then just bake these for 12 minutes at 330 degrees they will come out perfectly check out that internal temp I know they are done I let them cool for just a minute and then they popped right out of the silicone liners and after a few minutes they were ready to enjoy Get a head of cauliflower, cut it up into bite-sized pieces, wash it out, give a few to your child, pat it dry, spray your basket. I love my Misto sprayer. Drop the cauliflower in, give it a little squirt of avocado oil. Seven minutes at 400. Melt a tablespoon of butter, grab your favorite buffalo sauce, add a half cup to the butter, give it a shake of salt, a shake of pepper, and give it a good little stir. Cauliflower is roasted, dump it in a bowl, stir in the sauce, make sure everything's coated, drop it back in the air fryer, roast it for seven more minutes, and give it a shake at that halfway point. And check it out, you've got some cauliflower buffalo bites, baby. Start out with one and a half pounds of chicken. I didn't have any breasts, but I did have some chicken strips. Just add in a half teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Add more if you like more heat. Close up your bag and give it a good shake. Throw your chicken in, mix it around so it's nice and coated everywhere. Then spray your basket and plop the chicken in. I sprayed the tops of my chicken with some avocado oil and then I'm cooking it at 360 for six minutes. While that bakes, we are gonna make some avocado sauce. Add a third cup of plain Greek yogurt and then scoop out half of an avocado I just cut that up a little bit. One tablespoon of lemon juice, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and I just gave it a little shake of salt and pepper. And then I used my immersion blender to mix it all up. The sauce is so good and it complements the chicken so nicely. You could even double it if you want to. Here's a chicken not quite done yet. I'm flipping them and I'm cooking them at 260 for just about two more minutes. And there it is, 155 degrees, exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna put it in some foil, cover it and let it rest and finish up cooking. Again, super awesome, easy cleanup. Then when your chicken is ready, enjoy it with this avocado sauce. You can dip it or spread it over the top of your chicken. It is so delicious. In fact, my kids love it. Look at this child of mine just waiting for some dinner. Start with two six ounce cans of lump crab meat. I've never used this before. It was quite the fun process. Be sure to drain that meat and then place it in a bowl. 
Next, add a quarter cup of almond flour, a half teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one egg, and then a tablespoon of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and then, you guys, I made a mistake. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of melted butter, and I threw it in right here. It's actually supposed to be spread on top of the crab cakes, but that's okay, I'll show you how I made up for it. Oops. And then you're gonna separate this into four little balls and then flatten them on some parchment paper. Pop them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Then I got my cute little Misto sprayer and sprayed the basket. And now it's time for the melted butter. Spread that over the tops of the crab cakes and then place them in the air fryer basket with the butter side down so you can then butter the opposite side. Turn your air fryer on for six minutes at 350 and then it's time to flip them. Again, this should be easier for you because you won't add extra butter in your crab cake. And then cook it for four more minutes. I went ahead and cooked mine for six more minutes since I overdid it with the butter. And there they are, golden and beautiful. So start with a half pound of meat, a half of a green pepper, quarter cup of finely diced onion, a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter cup of almond flour, a third cup of mozzarella cheese, and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Add an egg and then a half tablespoon of Worcestershire. Did I say that right? One half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, and then get your gloves on and give that a good old mix. Next, get a liner on the bottom of your air fryer for easier cleanup, and then lay out three strips of bacon. Next, get your loaf and set it right on top of the bacon, and then you're just gonna wrap the bacon right over the tops of that loaf. Hopefully you can see how I'm doing that here. Sorry, my hand got in the way. And next, it's time for the glaze. You'll need one and a half tablespoons of low sugar ketchup, and then add a half tablespoon of Italian dressing. Give that a mix, and then you are just gonna spread that right on top of the bacon and the meatloaf. Pop it right there in the air fryer and you will cook it at 360 for 20 minutes. Now you can see after 20 minutes it was not quite done and it's always going to vary depending on how thick your meat is. So I threw it in at 380 for five more minutes and there we go. It was done and beautiful. Let it rest for a few minutes and enjoy. Again, I'm using almond flour and it works best to weigh this out. You'll need 125 grams. I really like this monk fruit sweetener. Just 60 grams of that, and then sift in one teaspoon of baking powder so you don't have any clumps. Next, just a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum and a pinch of salt. Whisk that together, and then in a separate bowl, you need two room temperature eggs. I just soak them in a bowl of warm water for a few minutes two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk. Add a half teaspoon of vanilla, and then some zero calorie liquid sweetener. Stacy recommends the Now brand. A quarter teaspoon of that, and then give it a nice little whisk. And once that's blended, you are going to add those wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, and just mix it up till everything's combined. Don't overmix. And then it's time to spray your donut pans. If you're wondering why I have a hole in mine, check out my other donut video I will link to that below and then you're gonna fill those donut cavities so this is how I like to do it you can use a piping bag or just a gallon size Ziploc bag I spray the interior with a little oil put it in the cup and then I add the batter right there into the liner. This makes filling the donut cavities a lot easier, but you could also just spoon it in. While you're doing this, preheat your air fryer and then just fill each donut cavity. This will make six donuts, so make sure you have an even amount of batter in all of the little donut cavities. And then just pop that in the basket and you will air fry it at 380 for eight minutes. And while that's baking, you'll need about a half cup of erythritol or monk fruit sweetener and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and just shake that around to mix it up and then check out the donuts. They're nice and cooked through perfectly. You can see with my instant read thermometer. I set mine on a baking rack to cool for just a few minutes before I pop them out and look how beautifully they just come right out. Immediately, you're gonna dip those in your zero carb sweetener right here. Just coat the donuts and for an extra crispy yumminess, pop those back in the air fryer for two more minutes at 350 and then coat them one more time and these turned out so so yummy be sure to check out my other healthy air fry recipes right here thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video